I have three 6.7 Cummins turbos that I'm finishing up with the T51R mod. I'm going to just show you what that looks like briefly. And I also have several more, I think about five more, that don't have the T51R mod. But the T51R mod, I'm not going to build those that often because most of the time I don't have to replace the inlet, so I'm not going to replace them if I don't have to. Here's one of the covers that I finished up. I have two others that are also done and a fourth one that I'm working on that I probably need a little bit more time to do. I have to have the sleeve finished up machining on the mill before I can finish that one. To give you an idea what this is, this whole inlet piece right here gets replaced. So I machined this out of a stock like a st uh, round piece of aluminum that's four inches. I machine it down so that we could put it on the mill. Then we take the mill, well, one of my employees uses the mill and he cuts that down to uh, make it. So you have the anti-surge port in here and the inlet is elongated to come out to the end of the inlet there. And then I go back and weld up the holes where the pins have been removed. Most of the time I don't do this job, but I really only want to do this job so these covers aren't wasted. You can see how these, I guess, little lips or pieces of the inlet, it's extend into the back of the anti-surge port there. I guess that's what makes the noise on them. If you're, you're not sure what the T51R mod is, you can look that up and just get an idea what it's supposed to sound like. So this one's for the 6.7 Cummins. And we also go with a 67 millimeter turbine on these. So it has a 67 millimeter compressor wheel and 67 millimeter turbine. You get to keep your exhaust brake. So that's the thing that people really love about upgrading the stock turbo on the 6.7 Cummins. Here's the other two covers that I have hiding. So if you're really wanting one of these, I recommend that you get up with us this week because I can't guarantee I'm going to do these for a while after I finish these four because I don't have any others that need to be done. Here's one for the 6.7 Cummins that's available that doesn't have the T51R mod. It just has the regular inlet where we machine it out to remove the silencer area but not machine out the whole piece. This one, just like the other ones, it's the same wheels. It's just that it doesn't have the T51R mod. The turbo also comes with these gaskets, so the insulation kit. You get an oil feed gasket for the feed fitting, the drain gasket and the manifold gasket, and the two actuator seals. Here's what the exhaust side looks like with it machined to the 67 millimeter turbine. I also machined this area right here all the way up until the turbine. That just helps clean it up. It's usually a pretty rough casting from factory. So I just clean that up a little bit. And then I, I like to grab it on this side, on the inside to machine it. I just think it's a whole lot more accurate. I can get it at least within two thousandths. So if you're wanting one, call a shop tomorrow, 276-692-2900, and place an order if you want one. If you want the one without the T51R mod, that can be shipped tomorrow. If you're wanting the one with the T51R mod, I need about one to two days to finish that because I got about nine exhaust housings I got a machine to complete the rest of the HE351Bs that I have been building for the last week. So stay tuned if you want to see more videos just like this one. I also am going to build up an Evo 9 20G because I had an extra compressor housing that I wanted to just get rid of.